Hello, I am Nitesh Pran from Lab and Multisim. In this video, I will show you how can you measure the average code execution time using LabVIEW. Means if you are writing a code and you want to check how much time or how much millisecond it will take for execution. Okay, so for that I am going to write a code here. So you can follow for the same. Take a VI, sorry, take a VI. Now let's try to create a VI here. So I am creating a general VI first. Okay, I am creating a general VI first. To create the general VI, come here, take a flat sequence, then right click, add theme, theme, a frame after, add one more frame after, right click, come in timing. Take a tick count. Take one more tick count. Take a subtract functions. Okay. So our program is ready. Now it will give me it will give me a time. Okay. Uh, elapsed time you can say it will give me a elapsed time or okay uh, elapsed time right whenever I will run so we can put our code here we can put our code here in this location you can put your code here code. so here I am going to write a code here Just addition of two number. All constant. Two and seven. Now it's my result. So now you can see the time elapse is less than millisecond. Okay, less than one millisecond. Time elapse is less than millisecond. Suppose here if I will put a wait function for 10 millisecond wait function for 10 millisecond so can I get now you can see the total elapse so total elapse time is 16 millisecond to execute this to execute this platform to execute this code is taking okay uh, after the execution to execute this uh, code okay it's completely taking 16 millisecond 2 millisecond before start execution, 2 millisecond before after execution and 2 10 milliseconds uh, wait time and 2 millisecond to execute. I think uh, the this uh, system works like this. But here if you are not agree with the concepts, so we can go ahead and we can create some more logical thing here. So for that, if you want to run your code n number of time suppose you want to run a code your code 10 time and after that you want to check what is the maximum okay what was the maximum uh, execution time and what was the minimum execution time so for that we can do something after writing this code we can uh, you can uh, you have to create a array after that come into the numeric function palette sorry not uh, yes In comparison right in comparison and take minimum and maximum no not minimum and maximum after that we have to take this minimum and maximum value from the array okay array minimum and maximum so come here array and minimum and maximum min array minimum and maximum and up uh, and you want to find uh you want to find standard uh, means average time so you need this uh, one more function which I am going to show you so it's maximum okay max time it's max value means max elapsed time in millisecond and it's minimum time means minimum elapsed time in millisecond in minimum elapsed time in millisecond okay and after that if you want to take one some more things so you can come into the mathematics and in the mathematics algebra I think algebra will work no linear will work no 
so from where we can get the option just a second uh, we need a minimum and maximum concepts okay uh, deviation concepts so from where we can get come here uh, we need um, uh, to search about the minimum and the maximum right filtering so we need uh, this one where we can get okay standard deviation and variance so you have to connect this one and it will give you the your average time okay it will give you the average time nice so this program will run so here i am going to run the program replace it with the numeric indicator i want to run i want to run the program 10 time and if it okay and i want to keep it so i am not getting any average time lapse okay because the time lapse are less than millisecond i am not getting any uh, time lapse here if i will take a time on. let's take a wait time first this program will run after that this uh, okay before going to run this program it will wait for the 10 second 10 millisecond then program will run and uh, it will take one second okay 100 100 millisecond so now you can see the maximum so maximum time it takes is it took the maximum time it took 11 millisecond and minimum uh, time 10 millisecond that's why the average the average is 10 point okay 10.14 average is 10.14 so now if one time i will run one more time right so average time is taking average time 10 point okay uh 10 point two zero millisecond suppose if i will suppose here i am going to keep it the thought and millisecond and i'm going to keep it to one so it's take one second so uh so it's taking uh so it's taking one uh yes thousand millisecond now uh, one uh, sorry, yes one second and one millisecond average time so you can also write your program like this and uh, in this case it will you will not get any standard deviation you can put your code here and you can search you can find out how many time your loop will run sorry what time is taking to complete your task uh, 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 okay how much time is taking to uh, complete the execution of your code okay so thank you for